तत्षा विमे वक्रतुंडा धीम तो दंदि प्रचोदया ओं साईश्वराय विमे सत्यदेवाय धीम तर्व प्रचोदया ओं जयंती मंगल काली भद्र काली कपालिनी दुर्गा श्याम शिवदात्री स्वाहा स्वाद नमोस्तु दे ओं शाति 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 सैराम लीन सैराम फ्रम लीश Sairam Sharma, Sairam from New Zealand. We welcome our listeners wherever you may be with love. And we thank Swami for giving us the divine wisdom with which to discuss our topic, which is Swami when our loved ones pass away part 2. And we are recording this in uh response to a heartfelt plea from a devotee who has recently lost a much loved family member sairam to you my dear don't worry everything is all right swami has had so much to say about the act of passing away and he has pointed out that death is something that is born with us at birth and it comes as a liberator not a jailer and he said in such as i speak volume 3 and there's so much about the business of of death and dying in such as i speak volume 3 he said man is known about everything else except death why should a person die of what benefit is it to die why do we die and the answer is in order that we may not die again we are born so that we may not get born again because once we are born we begin to earn things and acquire things land clothes riches materials grain articles of comfort and luxury friends family members animals money jewelry which he feels will give him happiness and which therefore becomes the objects of his struggle but the object of realizing god is forgotten and indeed many people don't turn to thoughts of god until they are on the way out in fact even atheists are known to suddenly start praying uh not right now Uh, if there's a god up there i don't really want to check out right now could you sort of make a change in my calendar because i've got a book i've got an appointment tomorrow i'm booked i can't die and i know this for a fact because a friend of mine who was an atheist i was visiting him in hospital quite a well known writer wonderful man he confessed to me he knew he only had days to live and now he said there's got to be someone out there i can talk to i said have you tried god he said oh don't use that word with me len he said but i am talking to somebody <laughs> and i let him hold swami's robe in fact he didn't want to but i threw it over him anyway and i like to think that that gave him some wonderful passage um at the moment of his passing i was not there at that moment i was however helping a friend of mine whose mother was passing away they were she was a great devotee of swami had done so much for swami in um the field of education and she'd founded a beautiful school for poor children in one of india's largest cities and had lovingly run this school for many many years but she had a fall one day and she never really recovered from that fall she took to her bed and that was the beginning of her beginning to fade away from life and my friend was terribly upset he his father did not want to know his father completely ignored the wife and sat in the living room watching television while well, she began to slip away in the back bedroom didn't happen right away it happened over a period of 6 months but she kept saying i'm going to swami i'm going to swami and at the moment when she began to pass my friend rang me 
And he said, Lynn, she is going. I said, let us begin chanting Gayatri Mantra, which we did. And he said, suddenly, she seemed to have dropped into a coma. But suddenly she sat up and held out her arms as if she was going to hug her son. And her entire face lit up with a beautiful radiance. She was young and beautiful once again. And then she very gently and peacefully slipped away as we continued chanting Gayatri Mantra. We cannot always be there when a loved one passes away. And yet, when we hear the words, they have gone, sure, there is always that jolt in the heart. There is always that feeling, oh no, not now, not that one. You know, if only they could have had a few years or months more so that we could properly say goodbye. But you know, this thing of saying, even this thing of saying goodbye, we're not you don't need to say goodbye because you will see them again. They don't leave. They, their love is what transcends all borders. And Swami's love transcends the universe. He can do and bring us together again. And he will do that. So don't grieve. Please try not to cry. There is always a period of mourning. Yes, and People have to go through the stages of grief. But so if you study Swami's teachings, this will take you from that lower mind state of grief and suffering to a state where you can accept the passing and be happy for the soul. Now, Swami says you must live in the constant thought of God. This is the trick. The body is the car in which you are riding every day. Your name is just the license plate number. Swami said, you may meet your passing at any moment, or your family, or your friend. It can be while riding in a car. He said, some tree, or lorry, or nulla, or slush will bring it. Remember that time is running out every moment, and then you will not be tempted to waste time in idle talk or vain pursuits or wanton mischief or vulgar entertainment. Travel in the car carefully, slowly, with due regard to the needs of others on the road. Do not greedily try to overtake others or compete in speed. Know the limitations of the vehicle and the road. And then you or your loved one will not meet with any accident. Swami is so clear. There is so much material. I think Sharma and I could give many, many talks. But we are really here to just plant seeds. Swami, even when his own mother passed away, was not concerned. He came to her. He said, I am coming, I am coming. He made babuti. I believe he poured Ganges water into her mouth. There's several accounts. And he did this with several other blessed devotees who he visited at the time of their passing. Know that he will be standing beside that family member, whatever their age is. No matter what their belief, no matter what their fears and anguish. And indeed, Swami once told that a child that is born in stillbirth or passes away at a very young age, that these are actually greatly blessed souls, that their mother and father are greatly blessed, and that that soul was highly evolved and only had a small amount of karma to suffer before he left the world. And indeed, the suffering of the mother was part of the repayment of that karma. This is powerful teaching, and it may not be palatable to all. It's not something I would say to a newly bereaved mother, and I have worked with a number of them. However, it's something to keep in mind. And we can perhaps do one more talk on this uh, as to several other forms of passing away. We know illness is one of them. Sometimes it's just old age. Sometimes it's accident. We never know. 
And so I leave you with these thoughts. I hope they are helpful to those of you who fear this time when your loved ones pass away. I know as a child, I was terrified that my parents would pass away. Even when they went out in the car and left me at home, I was in agony, thinking and praying that they would not die. But by, when the time came for my mother to pass away, after having years of studying Swami's teachings, I was so happy for her. I was so happy for her, and yes, she did come in my dream six months later and assured me she was fine. And I don't miss her. I don't worry about her. I know I'll see her again. And that Swami is with her and introduced himself to her and said, Hello, Sairam, I know members of your family. Om Shri Sairam. Om Shri Sairam. <clears throat> Om Asatoma Sad Gamaya Tamasoma Jyotir Gamaya Mrityurma Amartam Gamaya Om Tasmat Karunya Bhavena Raksha Raksha Sai Shvara Hari Om Tat Satri Sai Shvara Rupanamasto Om Shanti 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 Him